Natchez, Mississippi occupies a prominent bluff overlooking the Big River. A tourist attraction, the city is well off and mostly dry. Just across the water in the lowlands lies Vidalia, Louisiana, a working class town on the edge of a ruinous flood. At least 300 people are out of work there now, its riverfront businesses out of commission. The convention center, hotel, hospital and medical building are inches from inundation and losing as much as a million dollars a month. So it's just empty. It's a shell, right. It's Dr. John yeah. White, the staff and the patients at the medical building were out of business after the makeshift dikes went up and the evacuation orders went out. Normally at this time of day, uh, things would be buzzing around here. Now empty halls, empty rooms, empty beds. But that's when a call came in from across the water. That's just the way Natchez is. We, uh, we want to help in any way we can. It's, it's not an obligation, it's just a need, a want to help. In no time, White and his colleagues were housed in the Natchez Medical Center. So this is your new home, huh? This is our makeshift office. His staff is back at work. His patients know the new address. It's as much as he can hope for. <coughs> the Humane Society set up a shelter in Natchez for the pets Humane. of Vidalia. If they feel like it's a part of their family, but they can't take them where they're going. Natchez farmers offered grazing land for displaced livestock, and the Red Cross manned a post in Natchez with beds at the ready for their neighbors. The two mayors said the cooperation of their cities made them reflective. What it takes, it seems like sometimes, is crises and disasters like this to bring us all together as one unified group. I don't understand why we can't do this all the time as a nation. For now, they're united on this stretch of the Mississippi. As Mayor Copeland put it, the only thing that separates us is the river. Dean Reynolds, CBS News, Vidalia, Louisiana.